Now today I'm going to arrange with some gorgeous Longiflorum lilies, also known as the Easter lily. And I'm going to do something that's quite simple and quite traditional and ideal for those of you who've asked for some ideas for flower arranging for the church. simple bowl um, it's quite old I've had this for many many years it's a resin container a creamy gray white sort of shade um, I think it's meant to replicate stone but it's a very lightweight container and this week I've used the agro wool so this is the hundred percent environmentally friendly floral foam that's um, far better for the environment and I've used two blocks I've cut maybe a third off the end of each block which is underneath these two sections just to raise it up from the bottom of the base to give me more height with the floral foam and with the agra whirl you have to use it with the line section towards the top and that will make it easier for you to arrange now if you remember back to the easter arrangement i did and i'll link it here in the cards i had a little bit of difficulty getting my materials in from the side of the foam so hopefully this is going to work much better when I'm just arranging into the top section here. So if you don't have the agro wool, floral foam is just as good. But just remember that it isn't biodegradable and you can't compost it. It has to go into your black rubbish bag. And I have introduced some affiliate links in the description box at the end of the video. So if you're wanting to buy the agro wool, just scroll down in the information box and I will have linked a supplier via Amazon and you'll be able to purchase the items. I've also done the same with tools and equipment and all the basic tools that we use in the videos. So if you do decide that you want to purchase any of them, there's an easy link at the end of the tutorial. Now, if you haven't been before, welcome. My name is Sharon. It's great to see you and hello to everybody that returns time and time again to watch the video. Now, several of you have asked, for something for the church so I've gone out and I bought myself some longiflorum lilies um, in the Christian faith these are known as the Easter lily and this is what I'm going to arrange with today most of them are still in bed so they've going to last a really long length of time and if you're buying flowers in the supermarket try and buy them at this stage because you know they're going to last a much longer time for you if they're showing a bit of color on they're already open then they look gorgeous when you buy them but the lifespan isn't going to be quite as good and if I just turn this over and bring the camera in a bit closer you'll see that like all lilies they have the stamen in the middle and as the pollen matures it becomes dusty and it breaks down and it can leave little marks on your lily so the best thing to do is to remove the pollen as soon as you can access it so obviously when the head is like this you can't get hold of the pollen but as soon as you can see the pollen i'll have to put my glasses on for this bit you just need to use your fingers to pull the pollen out very gently and then you know that it isn't going to open and you're not going to have that dusty appearance on the pot on the lily itself and what you can also do is if you have a little paintbrush then you can use the paintbrush just to brush off the pollen there from on the inside so hopefully if i bring the camera in close you can see i always think that the lily looks really sad and unhappy when all the pollen is damaging the flower head and if you're arranging the lilies at home remember that cats don't like the pollen uh, makes them very unwell so make sure that you keep the lilies away from any of your little cats at home right now what I'm going to do with this is fairly simple this is probably going to be my quickest video um, what I'm going to do is keep the heads of the lily of the lilies because there's more than one at a fairly similar height so we're going to go in straight so this is what we call parallel arranging and if you haven't worked with the agro wool before then it is a little bit harder to work with than the floral foam but of course we'll soon get used to these new mechanics and these new styles and it is of course much better for the environment and what i'm going to do is almost take them 
in a circle around the center. So I'm making sure that all those heads, let's move this out the way so you can see who's talking to you. So what I'm going to do is arrange the heads so they're almost the same height and that when they open you'll have that mass display on the top and that's going to be balanced off by the weight of my container at the bottom. So that huge white profusion of colour at the top is going to be balanced off at the base and I'm also going to use a little bit of greenery around the bottom but what you could also do and particularly if you're in a church and you're restricted to how much your budget is and how much you have to spend on your flowers you could always buy some potted plants so maybe some trailing ivy and you could sit those in the base of your arrangement so they cascade beautifully down maybe over the altar or over the window wherever you choose to put your design and then you can just replace the flowers in the center so a little tip maybe get your money to go a bit further and add some potted plants into the bottom and if you're not sure of exactly what I mean and how I'm describing it let me know in the comment box below and I can do a video where I use plants and flowers together but for a minute I've got two bunches of the longiflorum and I'm just really taking about an inch off the bottom to give myself a clean cut to go into the agra wool. And then I'm making sure that there's enough space between the heads so that when they open up, you'll be able to appreciate the beautiful trumpet shape of the Longiflorum lily. It's quite an unusual flower to arrange with because it has that very long protruding shape to the head of the flower. Um, and I always think that when it's mixed with lots of flowers and the head of the Longiflorum is just lost in amongst lots of other flowers, then you lose that really characteristic shape and style of the Longiflorum lily. Let's keep going around in a circle. And the reason I'm going in a circle is because my container is a circle. So I'm repeating the shape on the top and I'm allowing some space in the middle to make sure there's room for those buds to develop. I think, one, two, three, four, I think we might have four stems in each bunch. And as a commercial florist, we sell lots of Longiflorum lilies at Easter. And we sell them to lots of church ladies who are arranging flowers in their local church. And we tend to have slightly bigger stems than this with bigger flower heads and more quantity of heads on the top. But I've picked these up from a local supermarket um, just because I think it encourages you at home to have a go at arranging. Um, if I suggested to you that everything had to be specially bought from a florist, I know that there's many of you that can't get hold of florist material. You don't live anywhere near a florist shop. So I saw these and thought I could do a quick arrangement with those that would be fantastic in a church. And it, you know, it doesn't have to be in a church, but I've been asked a couple of times for some ideas for flowers for the church. Now, because I've left the floral foam below the edge of the container, you can't see the floral foam. So you could even get away with just arranging your flowers like this and maybe covering your floral foam with some moss or some bark. You could use um, bark chippings. Um, from a distance, particularly if you are in a large church, you wouldn't notice the mechanics and you wouldn't need to hide them. But what I'm going to do is to introduce some foliage. And I've done a design that's all round so that you can see flowers from each side. And I've used eight stems but you could do exactly the same thing using just four stems, maybe mirror them on either side of the altar and just use four stems and arrange them from the front of the container because obviously you're not gonna see the flowers from the back. So if you want to stretch those flowers a little bit further, use them and just make a front facing design. But because my container was round, I thought it was going to look really lovely making a tall round design would also look fantastic maybe on the font where people are walking all the way around as they come in and out of the church. You could also do it in a low down version and use a floral foam ring to make the same design. And you could, if you wanted to, if you had some 
willow or some catkins maybe you've got some gorgeous cherry blossom at the moment in the garden you could really make a big statement by adding that into the center but for a minute I'm just going to use those lovely lilies and one of the foliage types that I have is the ordinary conifer now I know that many of you that are arranging at home are restricted to the amount of foliage that you can get hold of so I've just picked some ordinary conifer it's quite a limey green color which links beautifully with the color of my stems and I'm just going to cut these into short pieces if I compare that to my hand a little bit taller than my hand and all I'm going to do with this is just bring almost a skirt of foliage around the bottom now you might have laurel at home that you could use you might be able to get some pine or some ivy for the bottom or as I mentioned a minute ago, you don't have to use any foliage at all if you can't get hold of any, but you do need to cover your oasis or whatever you use at the bottom there to make sure that it doesn't dehydrate and the water doesn't evaporate off from the bottom. So I'm going all the way around. I've just cut lots of short pieces. You can measure them all if you're worried that you're gonna have one side longer than the other. I'm just working my way around the outside. Now lots of churches here in the UK have you in the garden. It's thought to ward off evil spirits. So you would also look fantastic in this. You might have Pittosporum that you could get hold of. Laurel would be fantastic for this as well. Or there might be some pine or some Christmas tree around, but you know, chat to your neighbors ask your friends is there anything in the garden that i can use and hopefully you'll be able to source something to make your arrangement with so you can see fairly similar in size um and i've just gone round in that quite natural circular shape all the way around the floral design and just to give me a little bit of contrast I've got the pistache foliage as well and this is really an exclusive florist foliage um, unless of course you live in the Mediterranean and you will have this growing like a weed on the side of the road but here in the UK it's often seen in a florist shop or in mixed benches from the supermarket now I think one of my lilies is ju just going off on a tangent so we'll push that back in and I'm just going to keep going adding some small pieces of the pistache and the reason I've used two foliages is because I like to have a contrast in color and texture but if you can't get hold of anything don't worry too much just use what you can get and create and create a design without worrying too much about it now, of course, the Longiflorum lily is a really good lasting flower. And if you buy them in buds like I have here, then you'll be able to create this design maybe a week or two weeks even before Easter. And um, it's going to last really well for you for the Easter period. And um, you won't have to worry about it close to the Easter time. So we've just introduced the last couple of bits of the pistachio into the center. All my foam is pretty much covered. My stems are nice and straight in there. And I think that's finished. I'm not gonna to worry too much about adding any more flowers into there. Quite a simple design, very elegant. It's going to have a profusion of the white coloring on the top um, as those flower stems start to open. And I think for a simple design for the church or for your hallway, wherever you decide to put it, is a really good idea. Come back and see me again very soon. Don't forget we've got that Facebook group, Sharon's Innovations group, where you can share photographs and ask questions about any particular design. Let's build that floral community. And if there's anything you want to ask, please put it in the description box below. Hit that subscribe button, which is just over here somewhere, and let your friends know call them all in to enjoy the video tutorials and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye for now.